Tell me something about yourself, Michael. All right, well, I'm, uh, I'm a past student of Grangeville High School who graduated this year with uh, Heritage Homeschool. Uh -huh. I'm going to Corbin University in Salem, Oregon to participate in track and field and study exercise science. Awesome. How'd you decide on Corbin? Well, um, I end up uh, finding it through family members. My grandparents showed me the school and I thought it looked pretty nice. So it's a private Christian university, which is kind of the, kind of the school I was looking for, something like that. Major will be exercise science, and then my minor will be biblical studies. I'll be getting 21,000 a year for track, and I'll probably be doing hurdles and triple jump there. They want me to become a decathlete, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm still not so sure about that. That's, that's <laughs> a pretty big undertaking. It's 10 events, deca, pole vault, discus, shots, long jump, high jump, 110 meter hurdles, I think the 100 sprint, maybe the 200 sprint. You had a pretty good experience at State, and uh, i just ask you to talk a little bit about some of the uh, people around Grangeville who helped you get to where you're going now. Sure. Um, I'd probably first of all mention, um, actually I'll start with uh, Todd Perry. Um, I started track freshman year, or eighth grade I should say, um, and didn't have that I'd be a jumper. I didn't even want me jumping because I was so tall and gangly. They said, don't even try it. Uh, freshman year, uh, Mr. Lover, Mr. Anderson were trying me out in different things, and honestly, I wasn't all that fast. I really wasn't. Um, and uh, I was, Ben was still in high school, Ben Merrick, and so Todd was helping coach the jumpers. And one time, Todd said he wanted to see me triple jump just to see, and so they signed me up for a, for a, an event in Lewiston, probably three quarters way through my freshman year, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, and I ended up getting like fifth in the meet, I think, that day, first time ever. So that kind of just sparked my triple jump uh, career. I was like, oh, that's what I'm doing now. And um, Todd helped me a lot. figuring out the triple jump and then um, once Ben graduated Todd had to start working so that's when um, I stumbled along Ed Jacoby and um, Ed Jacoby absolutely transformed my ability to jump. Um, he helped me so much with form and working out, what to work out, when to work out. Just, if I had a question I'd go to Ed about anything and um, that's what sort of that's what started, you know, pushing the triple jump out into the numbers where it's like, well, this is getting pretty good, you know. I was hoping to shoot for the school record and and even get up in there. And then um, uh, Ed was actually there when I jumped the 45 feet, and mm -hmm. broke the record. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he was he was excited, but he was like, well, you're a little high on your first thing. <laughs> the KMEI track and it's got that extra pad on the jump so it doesn't hurt your legs as much and in my first couple jumps I was still getting into it my first two I think it was before I jumped and then and then on that third one there a couple guys there I was like all right this is the one this is the one I was kind of joking but I was definitely hyped about it um, and they were like all right you guys they were all cheering for me and I was ready to go and and uh, I just I just went all out didn't look at the board didn't I just ran straight and just jumped and, um, and I remember landing and I felt good about it and mm -hmm. then when I looked back I just oh, I, my mind was just blown. You just knew <laughs> right immediately. Oh yeah when I yeah. looked behind me and saw how far I had gone I was like oh yeah. my gosh. Just in inside you had to know that was a PR. Oh. Did you have, think the school record might have been there for that? I knew it was super close. Uh -huh. Um, and I was, I ran over to the, the measuring tape and I was standing over, you know, waiting. And when I saw the 45, I was just, oh man, I just can't explain what I felt. It was <laughs> just awesome to, to see that. I also have the hurdles story. I, um, I didn't do uh, hurdles till my sophomore year because I had tried them once and I was horrible. Mm -hmm. like, just terrible. Um, and one time, Mr. Anderson signed 
sign me up without telling me. <laughs> um, and so, so I tried them, and I don't even think I did that well in the race. Mm -hmm. I could just tell that if I worked on them, that I could do okay, just because I'm tall, I was going over them fast, and they felt a lot better than when, when they had before. before I, was, I was a lot less flexible when I first started. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I started doing hurdles, and that year, um, I had four meets before state, and by the fourth meet, I made it to state that first year. So I was just, I was ready for hurdles too. It was mm -hmm. the same thing, just ready to go. And um, I, I have to thank both my coaches. Number one, Mr. Anderson for just slipping me in there and saying, here, I'm just gonna put him in there, see if he likes it. And, um, mm -hmm. and also for uh, for Mr. Lober being there to help me with it. He's helped me with every workout. He wrote every workout we did. So everything those two guys have done is just, it's unbelievable. So yeah, the hurdles, the hurdles progression, the coaches got me into it, and then it was the same thing. Ed, Ed came up and helped me all the time with the form, and we just basically did it and did it and did it until finally my form was was up to the level where I could do it myself and um, you know, work on it myself. And um, breaking 14 was my goal throughout high school. I, and you know, by that last day, I was like, you know, this is it. That last run, I was like, this is it, and that was the run you know, that I broke it. So that it was just a great ending to my track career.